บานจมเหียบสัวตุลตาจิยนจิตีมตรัยบานโซซาก้มบอกการกรรมที่สกปรกเพียบเชี่ยจมบองบานเอ่อครองจีวัตยืงบานสิบินสกปรกเพียบอ๋อตัวแต่ยืงเหมือนลอยกะปนนาก็ยืงเหมือนไอรูเนอร์แต่บานสูดได้บานหายลอยจานอย่างนาก็ยืงเหมือนไอเอ่อพี่บานจมงือแต่บินประจำเชี่ยประจำครองจีวัตยืงเอาเชี่ยได้ได้หรือก็จมงือไว้มวยแต่เวียคลังแต่ยืงเหมือนไอพี่บานได้บานหายเดี๋ยวฉะนั้นเอ่อทั้งไงนี่ยืงเหมือนเอ่อพี่เอขมายมันเนี้ยแต่ขมายยังเกี่ยวกับมีนติบกับซอลกับปุ๊บให้ติบกับซอลจานบาทบาทจีพิซซ่าองเลยวิ่งเกี่ยวกับมูลทายทัลเลนต์ติดบาทให้คนขมายยังนั่งมันมันจะจับประมาณที่ขมายที่ให้ทั้งไงนี่ดรลีกวาดสมระบัดได้ผู้กวาดเป็นการไปที่ให้เขียงก่อนจึงคนขมายยังนี่มาโจรุมครองการไปที่นี่ดำไปสู้คลาคลาในขนมสังคมขมายได้ขนมอายุสมาสมาขณีบาทให้เอาเมันเนี่ยนั่งชั่วโมงถ้าสู้ไปหาเจตุรัสจุดบางเคยไปมดมาหายหายทรอบบานเรียนทางคู่กบ้าวหายทรอบบานเรียนเนอสลาคาเซตลองบีชหายเรียนทางชูแมนเดเวลอปเมนต์หายสอบทางหายเจเนะลีดเซอร์พีเนอไกลเมนทอลเฮลพองได้หายสอบทางนี้กับปงแต่บางกบงแต่ working on his album ยัยพิซซ่าขมายโดยเฉพาะบ้านได้บ้างกบง working on his album บ้านนี้แต่กบงเรียบจอมทัวร์จี music d i s m o v ดำไปลุ่นนกรงตีพิซซ่าบอกหามเรื่องหายเชียงปรุ่มเหมือนเต้นบ้านโดยเฉพาะตัวเทียนยุนมันทรอปคือหายเดาเดาพาร์คหายหนึ่งเดาบัปปะทวบอนบัปปะทวขมายหายบรรทายปนนกแต่มวยคลางเตี้ยแต่ขยมข้าวสาอย่างใครเลยให้มีมวยตระหนักพี่พองนายจมพูแต่วัยเด็กบานสุบานเฟอร์มาคือมวยเทียบบานโจรวมดาตัวนกนองเรืองมวยแต่ฮาวท่า H2O H2O เรืองนึงปุกขังนัดเล็กแต่กีบานมังกรล่างบาทให้เด็กชนะสมองบายร้อมตัวแต่ขยมจมวยหนึ่งมาจูบจมวยหนึ่งสุบาสุบสบสบายเด็กสบายบาสมยับสัวจำเรียบสบายบ้านนอกนี่ยำสมสบายจัดเรียกเรียนนักทายนี้ประทาเขียนบ้านเจงปอดต้องอักนี่นังใหญ่เรื่องของแมนทูเฮาบาดเขียนใหญ่ขมายมันโซปโรเต้เป็นทายนี่ยำปรังใหญ่ขมายอ่อยเจงปีเซบาดสมอกรเป็นได้ทายนี่เขียนใหญ่ขมายคล้าให้ใหญ่อังเลยคล้าได้ we mix together we mix together we mix together yeah I know there's a lot of People, not just Asian, but it's also American and many other right. different ethnic, that has a lot of problem in mental health. And I know that you're not a doctor, and right. I know that, but you work with the mental health people, right. and you also learn about psychology at school. Right. So meaning that you also know something about that too. Yes. And you probably can answer some of the questions. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so um, a lot of the time when. Uh, A lot of the time, when I hear there's a major problem, for example, I think uh, you probably heard of that several months ago. They had the shootings mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's coming from a kid who been bullied by some other people at school. Right. You know, most I think they're about 18 or no more than 18. They're 20 something, right? In high school. Or yeah. Or they've it, just yeah. left high school. And, yeah. Or they know. just left high school. Yeah. So it seemed like kid having a lot of problem with uh, bullying each other and stuff like that. How would you, how would you, as a uh, lead therapist for the mental health, how would you uh, tell other people, you know, tell those kids right. what to do, what to expect, and what to, you know, what to change so that he can, he doesn't go out wilds and you know, shooting other people. Absolutely. Um, currently, with my uh, field of study, I've been working in high schools and different middle school, where we have kids who do need the support and the support system for them to get through their bullying where other kids are teasing them for yeah. having a disability, um, mm -hmm. such as uh, not being able to speak or they're nonverbal. So um, with that situation, we do make sure we communicate with the parents in terms of how we relay messages. Mm -hmm. And we do, um, you know, as teachers and as uh, administrators, we do reach out and we do give phone calls to see how the kids are doing at home. Mm -hmm. And we also make sure that the information that is being communicated to the parents are being relayed absolutely clear because the kid could be, uh, you know, exuding certain behaviors where they, you know, they're crying or they're not sure how to handle the situation. Mm -hmm. And yeah. some kids, they don't even know how to tell you, you know, how they feel. So they hold everything inside and that eternally leads to something more catastrophic in terms yeah. of their behaviors, you know. So... 
what we do as teachers is we call parents, we're like, hey, is there anything going on? Or we make sure parents have that open communication where they can call us and say, hey, my kid's having a problem at home where he's, you know, he's having self-destructive behaviors mm -hmm. and he's crying a lot and we're not sure because he's not talking to us. And that's when we refer him to the counselors at school. I see. So they can sit down because we do have on-site psychologists. Mm -hmm. where they, you know, talk to each one. Oh, I see. So basically you are open a line of communication yes. from school, from teacher to student to parents right. so that you can talk to and communicate throughout the channel and Absolutely. make sure that the kids are okay. And if we see any visual sign, we can take care of it before it happens. Right. Not like the one at... Um, at uh, Florida. Right. I think there's a lot of sign, right. but people doesn't really pay attention to the sign that the kid has a problem. Right. And that's what happened into, you know, lead into uh, and several people. with him, there was a problem, you know, we do have an, um, a growing <coughs> epidemic for, you know, children and adults with autism. Mm -hmm. And autism are basically, it means social behaviors. It doesn't necessarily mean mental health, mm -hmm. but it kind of relates into the same field because autism has problems with, you know, how a kid interact with people uh -huh. or, you know, if they're in a social setting, how do they react? to certain social behaviors like you know even greeting someone you know if I were to say yeah. hi how are you that's an appropriate way to greet someone but if right. you say hi and they're just not looking at you yeah that's a sign of a social behavior that needs to be corrected oh, you know so with um, with the person in Florida you know he had a, a diagnosis for autism oh, meaning he had a social behavior that he wasn't sure how to you know he did not to interact with peers right. so when that built up, you know, he, he probably became frustrated and didn't know how to handle that situation. And his way of dealing with, you know, all that remorse from not having friends or whatnot, yeah. he, he did what he did he because he didn't out. know, he just let it out. Yeah. And there should have been like, you know, an intervention where we sat down and we laid out the plan. Mm -hmm. It's called a behavior intervention plan, BIP, right. which we write out to make sure that, you know, this is what's going on. He needs to see this person and this right. person and, you know, certain medication needs to be taken yeah. to deal with the, his behaviors. Yeah. So you also, um, by the way, um, maybe I forgot to mention, uh, um, Soup also a teacher. Yes. <laughs> So he's a, he's a really multi-talented person. Thank Teach, you. Sing, um, uh, uh, therapist for the mental health. So you do a lot within. I, I do. mean, you you do a lot for for your age and seem right. like you know a lot and do. Your career look really bright in the future. Thank That's you what so I much. see. Thank That's you. That's what I see because because you know what you know, not just what you know, you have to be smart in what you know. Because right. if you only know and you're not smart to sell your product, right. then you're stuck in there. For example, you can be a, the best singer, but you're not going to go and sing. If, if somebody asks you to sing a song and say, hey, you know what, if you give me a $500, I sing a song for you. But right. they don't even know how you sing a song. How would, you, how would they pay you $500? Right. But the other way around is that you're really smart. You go out, you show the people, you show them that what you can do. Right. You show them your talent. They see it, they like it, then they buy it. That's the best way Thank to do it. Thank you so much. Yeah, not Thank a problem. Thank you so much, Uncle Tony. No. Um, one other thing that uh, beside bully, I think also is, is the depression that, that right. most, mostly kids have, have these days. The way, the way it happens is that sometimes it might be uh, a friend, they have no friend, or mm -hmm. the girlfriend is broke up, or boyfriend's broke up, or sometimes there's too much work at school, right. or too much pressure on something, so it leads into a depression. So what sign or how are you going to cope, how are you going to take care of that? with a kid, or either college right. kid or maybe right. high school? In high school and in the middle school itself, we do have encountered a lot of uh, children and adolescents with depression. Mm -hmm. And you know, we do look for signs and certain signs are not easy to detect. Like a depressed person could be showing a happy mm -hmm. mentality, yeah. but there's certain things they say that will trigger your like, okay, they, something might be going on. Like, haha, they could be laughing and then they'd be like, my parents are fighting, but I think it's funny, but that's a way of coping oh. with parents breaking up yeah. or like, divorcing or losing a loved one. So depression always extends from your living environment, mm -hmm. where you live, who you're surrounded by, mm -hmm. and how you're built from that environment. Because let's say you live in a rich family, mm -hmm. 
but your parents don't give you enough attention because right, right. they're too busy making money to right. try to support you. Mm -hmm. You have the biggest house, but you're alone. Yep. So being alone itself can cause depression. Ah, you know, I even I did a study where I was left in a room for two days by myself mm -hmm. and you can already feel it's quiet, it's lonely, yeah. and you start to talk in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So signs of depression is a level by level. It could be anything. It could be me sitting there very quietly. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, you know, just yeah. they don't want to talk. They're antisocial. And that's what you need, or they're like, I'm sad. Or they tell you, you know, and I feel like what's important in society is when someone tells you something, mm -hmm. you need to listen. Because mm -hmm. if you just, oh, they're just saying it, or they're just saying it for fun. But in reality, they're feeling that sort of way, and that's why they're telling you. But when you tell them, no, it's whatever, it's all gonna be okay, mm -hmm. you're just pushing their problem away, and you're not gonna deal with the behavior head on. Yeah. So signs of depression include being quiet, being too loud, obnoxious. There's many reasons for it, and many reasons extend from your living environment, where you come from, where you grew up from. So mm -hmm. with the kids that I worked with, um, the signs of depression were, um, you know, they were like, my parents are breaking up. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of it had to do with parents breaking up for uh -huh. kids, and they don't know how to deal with it. Single, single mother or single, single father. Single mothers and single father, and moms get depression from mm -hmm. not having the support system, financial yeah. stability, mm -hmm. and not having money to support your family can cause depression. So all those sort of things that someone tell you, hey, I'm feeling really sad, sit down with them mm -hmm. and listen and try to understand their situation. I think the best thing to do as a second per secondary person is to mm -hmm. really sit there and listen to their problem. Uh, listen to the kid problem. Listen to the kid's problem. And then we can bring his problem or her problem and look at it and see what we can do to right. help them to resolve the issue. Right, yeah. and find we're a gonna take, Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. That's really, really good. Um, when we come back, we're going to continue with that, okay? okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, we will be back. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Um, the kid who have, uh, uh, I, I think that the kid who have um, problem with depression is also sometime when they come home, there's no parent at home mm -hmm. and no food for them. Right. Yeah, no food for them or either the mother or the father did not kind of like busy working somewhere or maybe they have a five, maybe a single parent. Right. And when they come home, they have to do their own cooking, they have to do their own homework. Some kids may be able to overcome that, mm -hmm. but maybe some of the kids or most of the kids might not be able to overcome that. Right. Because they have to manage to go and find food. And, some, and, and kids, sometimes they don't know how to cook at their age. You right. know? And I think that it's a, it's a duty of the parent also that you have to make sure that you take, you take care of your kid while they're young and while they're right. they with you. Because once they leave you, they're gone, they're not coming back. They might be, you know, right. they go to school, they have a girlfriend, they have an apartment or whatever it is there. So enjoy the kid as much as you can mm -hmm. while you have them, them now at home, you know, so right. that way. And also communicate with the kid. Very important. Yeah, very important. Communicate with the kid and talk to them and say, what do you need help with? You know, what, what can I do for you? Uh, is this food good? Which one do you like? What do you like? I think that's probably major important. And if, if you need some help, I believe that we have social help, right? We do. We social do. security and stuff. Uh, I mean, social, uh, social work welfare, and social services. Social, yeah. Exactly. So and if single parent can do that, right? right? If and they cannot yeah, afford it. Absolutely. And like you mentioned before, with certain kids, they're able to learn how to naturally adapt to cooking their own food or learning how to function because they might have a single parent right, right. who is always working to try to keep them, you know, make sure the rent is being paid. Yep. So they do know how, but then you have those who can't because of the personality differences. <coughs> yes. You have introvert, extrovert. Yeah. Introverts are more quiet. They're more yeah. into their body. They're more, you know, non-social. Yeah. Where extroverts are more loud and more abundant with their how they communicate with their different people. Mm -hmm. But you know, we do have services available. Mm -hmm for free you know if they need it where they need assistance with food and that's why we have welfare and tanf t-a-n-f you know mm -hmm. and women's shelters right. for those that are homeless but we do you know the most important thing for our community is to make sure they have that information to access yeah. those services because if they don't know 
how are they going to get the help they exactly, need? Exactly, exactly. That's what our government provides. I think what I think what they can do also is the, as a parent, they can also talk to friends, because right. let's say kid doesn't know you know a doll or doesn't know anybody, but as a parent, if they missing something, if let's say if they cannot afford the rent or if they cannot do this or they cannot do that, then they should talk to friends and ask, and ask them, where can I get help? Right. Find out where they can get help. That's the most important part. If you can find, uh, if you get, uh, uh, the only thing that they should not do is basically, for example, like go gambling mm -hmm. or go having a dance and drinks and stuff like that and leave right. the kid at home. That's something that you do not want to do as a parent. Right, right. Yeah, that's a bad, bad um, example yes. to show to your kid. Plus, then your kid will certainly become depressed right. because of all right. of Right, absolutely. As I was going to touch base on that, you know, but the neglect of it, you know, the word neglectful is mm -hmm. part of the depression where if you neglect a kid, they're mm -hmm. going to have depression either way because yeah. then, you know, they're not getting that love and affection. Because if you look at animals, yes. when they stress, what happens? They die Yeah. automatically. Yep. You know, but with our human evolution, we've learned to deal with stress. But the more stress builds up, the more it causes chemical imbalance. Yep. Am I right? So, yes. but animals, for say a rabbit, when it when it needs to find its parents, it starts to die yeah. because it doesn't know how to support itself. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but I think you know the the uh, when you said uh, chemical imbalance, it's also it, it's come up. It's like too full into your chest. Right. You know, the, it's like the depression. Basically, it's like in your chest, in your mind, it seems like you cannot, you cannot go anywhere. It's stuck in there, and that's what caused a major problem because right. you cannot, you have to let it go. You have right. to go and talk to somebody. You have to let it go. If you don't let it go, that's a major problem. Right. That could lead into, a, like you said, a, a big disaster, mm -hmm. you know, with, with depression. Sometimes you cannot sleep, yeah. But you have to, depression, is, I think it also causes from, just the brain keeps thinking of nonsense things. Mm -hmm. It keep it doesn't think of something that are positive. A lot of the thinking is come off of the negative thinking, right. and that's what causes depression. Also, I mean, I, I, about 20, 15, 20 years ago, I was once very depressed myself mm -hmm. because um, because the business doesn't go well and right. money's oh here and there. It's a lot of thing and cannot sleep causes problems, so right. uh, I, I did bought a, the tablet and took the tablet and could still could not sleep. Yeah. It'll make you go to sleep, but you cannot sleep. Right. Because what is the problem? The problem is because you think Overthinking. too much. Yeah, you mm -hmm. think of something that, that is not going to happen. And that's what happened. So basically what you do is try to relax and listen to some kind of music or listen to a friend or listen right. to somebody that help talk to you, encourage. Encouragement, yeah. positivity. Yeah, encourage positive thinking, encourage right. a positive working, and say, you know what, if you work hard, you will overcome with all of the, all of the problem. Exactly, you know? and it's funny because what the input, like you said, holding it in the chest, mm -hmm. the input and the output position of it, you know, if you don't have a way to output the problem, yep. it's gonna build up inside, and that's doing, that's what the brain part. Yep. It has nothing to do with your organs, it's yep. the brain, because the brain is the computer. Yep. So if the brain is not being well maintained, like you maintain a computer, like every computer needs an update, right. you need to mentally maintain your brain, because if you don't, yep. it's gonna go haywired. It's gonna be confused, it's gonna be like, how do <clears throat> I organize? So it comes down to organizational skills, mm -hmm. maintaining your health. Yeah. A lot of it has to do with your health too. Genetics mm -hmm. can be a big part of it too. Um, so, you know, the teeth, the teeth, nerves are all connected to the brain. Yep. So if you're not brushing your teeth and you're not making, maintaining your health, it's going to cause you to get, think you know, about it. to think about <laughs> yeah. stuff, you know, it's going to cause you to have an array of thoughts and how do you handle those thoughts? So the, like you said, the key is to relax, mm -hmm. find things that you enjoy doing mm -hmm. and, you know, learn to see a different perspective, the positive way. Like for me, if I had a hard day at work studying or, you know, taking a test, I have an exam, I'll sit down and listen to music. I'll take a moment for like 10 minutes and mm -hmm. I just start writing music. And for me, that's my output. Yeah. For some people, it's playing basketball, right, right. going to the gym, swimming. So make sure you make that extra time for yourself because life goes by really fast. Exactly. And you yep. really, it's so important to take time out mm -hmm. for your well-being. Yes, yes. So important. I think, I think, um, you know, like you mentioned about the car, 
Well, it, for the engine of the car, in order to avoid to function properly, there's a lot of uh, small little things involved, you yes. know. And when you do a tune-up, there's a lot of things that you need to do. You need to replace the spark plug, you need to replace right. the cable, you need to replace all of these little sort of things in order to make the engine fine-tune. And the human, the same thing, you know, we need, um, and it, it need, and the cars need gasoline, need food in right. order to run, and the food going through different channels. They need the food, they need the air, and they need the water and everything. And the human, the same thing. We all need something. So for example, you know, um, the mouse needs to have the food. You know, if you don't have the food for the mouse, then the mouse is going to have a problem. You know? right. And the nose needs the air to go through, and the eye, you need to view something everything. nice. Everything. You need to view something so that uh, it bring, bring you happiness. But Yet, no, I don't think a lot of the people pay attention to the brain, you know, because the brain is where the main thing that will control the whole body. Right. So if, uh, when somebody has depression, it's the brain that causes a problem it's because it doesn't have a good food. Right. It doesn't have a good chemical that make the brain function properly. Because, I mean, if you say, okay, I'm sad, I want to go and watch the movie, that's you, that's you, it goes through your eye, you know? So, a lot of the people forget about that. So you need to have uh, something to entertain your brain. And right. then to do that, you have to listen to somebody who talk about positive things mm -hmm. to keep you from thinking negative. Right. That's the most important part. Because thinking negative, I think that causes your brain, because the brain is the most, it's, you cannot control your brain, basically. You, you cannot, cannot control your mind, in other words. Right. I mean, not brain, you cannot control your mind. Because your mind is always think up in front, left, right, you know, you, your mind, nobody's mind is balanced. Right. Because we're always thinking back, forward, here and there, everywhere. So what, but what we have to do, like you said, we have to take a moment and relax and, you know, relax with your mind, relax your brain. That way you, you can, it's like give it a food, you know, tune give up. food. You're getting a tune tune, up, yeah, getting you know? a tune for your brain. Yeah. yeah. Because Otherwise, you're going to go depressed. And if you don't know how to release that, that's the major thing. That is so yeah. major. And it, when it comes <clears throat> time down to the environment, like my parents always taught me, like, keep you busy. Mm -hmm. Make sure you stay from out of the wrong crowd. Because yep. a lot of how you grow up is how you turn out to be. Yeah. So, you know, my parents always kept me and my siblings busy with certain sports like my brother did karate mm -hmm. my mom and dad put me on music mm -hmm. so she you know that's I, why you know how exactly to <laughs> so my whole life it was just music lesson music lesson and then my twin brother he did more of the you know working on skateboarding so mm -hmm. parents take the time out to pay attention to their kids yep. like taking them to the park skateboarding mm -hmm. just that couple just even an hour together yep. can change a whole entire person because if you're not giving the attention they deserve yeah they go out and they find things to do yeah and they meet the wrong crowd yeah and what happens yep they end up in they end up in trouble in trouble yeah, <laughs> yeah. they end up in trouble and, yep. and sometimes could lead to jail yeah, yeah and allow them to express themselves if they like art mm -hmm. let them do art yeah because you would rather let them do something they love instead yes. of letting them fight you yeah to do something they don't want to do exactly because they want that freedom of expression you know yes. you can't make someone a doctor you can't make they will grow to be who they will be but what they need from you is the support yes that's the number one Re regardless of what do, regardless of what you do they have to support support they have so to important. say okay my son is like that let yeah. him you know right let him be and guess what a lot of the time uh sometimes a hobby can turn into a big career yeah and i mean i i I, I work with computer, and computer was just like my hobby, you yeah. know? I, I just like it. I don't really go to school and learn, but it's become my entire career. It's right. become my wealth, basically, that I, I made the money and doing exactly. everything. It's exactly. coming from that. Yeah. So it's not just like, you just cannot just force somebody against his will. Against his will. Yeah, against his, his mind, his determined Talent. Yeah, it's his talent that he, he born with. Right. Yeah, those are all the born with. Right. And and that's make it difficult too. It you makes know? it very yeah, difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. We're gonna take a quick break and right. then we will come back. But uh, we're gonna take a quick break and we will be right back. Thank you. Welcome back. Um, uh, thank you very much. Um, 
we, you just talk about environment that mm -hmm. also affecting the uh, the youth. The kids. Yes, yeah. and it's important because, as I was stating, you know, I have a sister. She, you know, for example, wise, she was going through two careers. Mm -hmm. You know, do I want to be a nurse, mm -hmm. St stable money, yeah, make my parents happy, or do I do something that I love? Yeah, and then when I grow up, I'll be even happier. You know, so I I sat down with her. I said, hey. Do you want to be a nurse? No. She says, no, I don't want to be a nurse. Then why did you put it as an option? And she said, because it's the right thing to do to make the good happy. money and to make the parents happy. I said, then what else do you want to be? I want to be a graphic designer. Uh -huh. I said, between those two, which one do your heart tell you to be? Uh -huh. She said, graphic design. And now she went towards that major. Yeah. And it's her passion, her dream to She's a really good illustrator. She draws and she creates on the computer. Wow. That's and I good. told her it's going to be a hard, it's going to be a hard um, career, but if you work hard enough, mm -hmm. you will succeed. Yes, of course. If you put your heart and soul into something, don't ever tell yourself you can't do something. Yep. Always keep trying. Yep. Because the mental aspect of it is going to help you become the best person you can be for yourself. Yes. You get to utilize your talent. Mm -hmm. You get to be who you want to be and you're happy. Mm -hmm. The key is to find happiness for yourself. Yep. Because if you're not happy and you make someone else happy, how about you? Yes. Does exactly. it matter to you? Exactly. Because at the end of the day, it's you by yourself. Yep. So when I chose my career choice, you know, I, my singing is my passion, acting is my passion, but I had to think smart. Yeah. I need a career to back me up. Yep. But it was all my decision. With my parents' guidance a little bit, they let me, they pushed me to go do what I had to do. Yeah. And they said, when you fail, then you'll learn how to get back up yeah. on your own. Yes. But they allowed me the freedom to express myself, yeah. which is how you know, I have a career now. I can just go into music, mm -hmm. have a backup plan. Yeah. That is the key. You know? Just allow your kids the freedom of expression. Yeah. I mean, that, that backup plan is very important. It, I, I always say that in, the, in the TV, most of the time, you know, first you have to think of yourself. Right. You know? You cannot help other people if you cannot help yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's very important, you said earlier, that hard working and communicate with others, work smart and create a goal, have a goal. Say, you know right. what, I want to be the best graphic designer. And if you cannot, it doesn't matter how far you can go, but you must keep doing it right. again and again and again and again. And then you ask people around. Don't, don't just keep quiet to yourself. Don't keep the quiet. most important part is ask. You know, uh, that's another thing that I learned in real estate. I also have a, re a real estate license. I used to be a real estate <coughs> person too. It's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. And that's that is really important. <laughs> you have to ask people. If you don't ask, you're never going to get. And people are never going to know what you want. Right. You cannot think for other people. Wait until they answer to you. You know, if they, they, if they cannot say no, they cannot say yes, doesn't matter, that's, that's their problem. But you have to ask them and tell them and say, so if, if you want to be a graphic designer, if you got stuck with something, if you don't know about something, got to ask. And let's say in your career, the same thing. I would, I would say the same thing. Let's say you want, in, you want to go into music right. and you don't know where to go. You got to ask people around. You really and a do. lot of the time right now, Google. Google. Oh my God, Google is the tons of information a that you can find. Yes. You can find every information that you can call and mm -hmm. find people, you know. And that, that will also uh, make you happy and you're not stressed out so much. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's so important because I remember myself as a youth, mm -hmm. being young and, you know, having the talent to want to sing. I didn't have the greatest voice, but I had the passion for it. And, you know, growing up, people tell me, you bully, you know, yeah. you can't sing, you suck, you can't do it, you're not going to make it. But I had, you know, I had the, my parents back up. Yeah. So with a support system, I push yeah. and I push. And, you know, I, I might, may still not have the best voice, but I've learned, I've trained my voice and I've learned to sing on key and how to hear the music. So um, and up until I was like 18, I was still being told by people, you can't do it the negative energy, but mm -hmm. I remain positive. Yep. And I told myself, you know what? This is what I want to grow in. So when I did the voice, mm -hmm. I made it to the second round. And I said, yeah. it reassured me that yes, I can do it. Yes. And then later on when people saw you succeed, they wanted to follow behind it. The ones yeah. that didn't like me, yeah. wanted to like me and wanted to be my friends. Yeah. <laughs> and like, so if you remain confident in who you are, yeah. you will succeed. Yeah. You know, you know the, the, the problem with people is not just Cambodian or mm -hmm. every ethnic. 
they always talk about something and they always kind of like uh, give you negative stuff. You yeah, know? it's It's everywhere. like the same thing. I, I've been doing TV. Actually, you know, TV is going to be five years in May 1st. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, two, three years ago, there's people in Long Beach that say, oh, you know, that guy, he's going to close in two months, you know. And then other guy, oh, they're not going to, he's not going to make it. Oh, this guy, that. So people just go out and talk about other people that without knowing who you are. You know, we're, we're you have determination within you. You say, you know, I want to do this and I'm going to make it. Right. Because it doesn't matter how it is, if you determine to go for it, you go for it, you know. And when you work hard for it, you're going to get it. And that's, right. a, that's the most important part is work hard. Yes. I never talk to, I have a lot of rich clients, rich clients, really, really rich clients, not just rich. A multi-billionaire have money, thousands of millions of dollars. I talk to them, and guess what? They, he's in. The, they are in the seventy plus years old. They still work. They have money that they can spend right. five lifetime or whatever. They can. They still work. You know, and it's not like it's not like they want to make more money, but it's just. That's their passion. And they work because it maintains their health. Yep. It maintains their social health, their mm -hmm. mental health. Because if you stop working, what are the opportunities of you running into people that you can talk to on a daily basis? Exactly. Unless you go to the gym, most of them you go to the quiet. gym. You, you know, <laughs> if you're just in your house all day. And you know, a lot of the rich people, they don't get the opportunity to you know, socially experience that connection with people because money cannot buy everything. Exactly. You know, money is just a piece of paper yep. that can buy friendship, mm -hmm. but are they genuine friendship? Are these people there for you for the good reasons, you yeah. know? Or the, or the money. Yeah, <laughs> Some, or the, for the money. You sometimes know? friend for the money, you know? If you sometime have money, then money. you have a lot of friends that for yeah. the money. <laughs> but you want to make sure you keep the ones that you know really close. Genuine, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, focus on the goal and mm -hmm. make sure you stay positive there will always be negative and positive. Even with iron, yep. chemical, negative, positive, people, negative, positive. Yep. There's always gonna be a balance. Balance out your health and find your priority. Don't worry what people think. Take that advice that you feel is important mm -hmm. and the ones that doesn't make sense, you don't have to listen to exactly. it. Exactly. You know, just throw it, away. throw it away. <laughs> don't think too much about it. Yep. Oh, this person, they say this they about say it. That, at yeah. the end of the day, we're all human beings. We're not yep. perfect. Sometimes we say things that are not very nice, but we learn from it and we grow. Yeah. We can only grow from it. Yeah. That is the most important. Well, you know, sometimes people say to you because they are jealous because they cannot be like you, they, because they cannot be successful like you, because they cannot sing like you, so they just go talk bad about you too, you know, or try to discourage you from doing what you really want or right. what you really like. But that's, don't do that, you know, don't listen to those people. When, when those information coming in, just throw it away. Throw it away, yeah. you know. Don't, don't even come close by. Yeah, a lot of it have to do, in, even in the youth now in mental health, mm -hmm. a lot of it has to do with judgment, judging someone yeah. before you know them. So yeah. how we handle it is, you know, I prime my, my kids. I'm like, remember, remember who you want to be. Surround yourself with people who are similar to you yeah. that wants to do the same thing, like music. I surround myself with music people, playing piano and music. So I, I'm always surrounded by people that understand why I'm singing, you know. Yeah. Sports people play sports together because mm -hmm. they have something in common. Yes. So you definitely want to make sure you surround yourself with the right kind of people. Yeah. To uplift your spirit. Yes. Yes. That's right. Because the the other people they will just step on you. They right. just want to step you down. They just want to put you down. Right. And that's what that's not good. You know. And if if you think you are the one who step people down, then don't do it, please. No. Because it could it could cause problem for the see for for people that can say oh whoever say bad about you know for for example like me people talk bad about me it's fine you know I I can go away but what happens if you talk bad about somebody and some that somebody cannot take it you know they take that seriously and then it could lead into an argument it could lead into right. a whole bunch of other problem that's what the the that depression is all about. Yeah, there's you, a lot you, of Basically, situations. when you talk bad about someone, you kind of like bully them, right? Right, right. Is that what it is? Yeah, and you know, you just, that's why you make sure with bullies, a lot of it, I call it extinction. Extinction <clears throat> means you don't pay attention because a lot of the bullies have attention-seeking behaviors. Mm -hmm. So it's the term attention-seeking, meaning they want your attention. Mm -hmm. They want to pick on you. Yeah. So if you ignore them and you don't pay attention, 
it stops. Eventually, oh, it stops. Okay. Walk away, go do you what you got to do, and ignore. Ignore. Because the, then you're yeah. not paying attention to that exactly. bad behavior because they want your attention. Yeah. Even if it's a negative attention, they want you to notice them. Yeah. Walk away, and if it gets to be too bad, then you go up to tell somebody. Yeah. Hey, you know, and make sure it's anonymous because a lot of the youth, they're scared. They're like, are they going to find out I said something? You know, it is a hard, bullying is a very difficult thing. But yeah. the number one thing is to make sure you address it. Yeah. To make sure we, what, we can find solution to helping you. Maybe putting you in another class yeah. or putting you in a school nearby just to get you away. Or having to place the bully somewhere else, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Move, remove the bully remove from the, the bully yeah. Remove the bullies out and put somewhere else. That way, right. um, he's not uh, bullying others. Yeah. yeah. Because if he see if that person if that kid is the bully guy, he probably gonna be bullying maybe other people too because right. that's look like his character and he probably need uh, a lot more right. uh, mental yeah. help. <laughs> and a lot of the ones that are getting bullied are the ones that are causing this issue at school because yeah. they've been bullied so much that they held so much inside mm -hmm. that it had to come out that way because yeah. they were upset. They're yeah. like, I'm not being treated nicely. So that's why we got to make sure we treat everyone <coughs> with respect mm -hmm. and make sure that they are being heard because yeah. if we don't hear them, that's when the problems start. Yep, exactly. Because when they're silent, it's going to it's going to blow. Yeah. That's what so it is, you know, yeah. make sure to say hi to people, greet people, mm -hmm. even if they don't say hi back. For exactly. me, I wake up in the morning. Good morning. How are you today? Yeah. And some people don't respond, but you know, it's okay. some people are like, oh, thank you so much for yeah. saying hi to me because I needed it. Yeah. Or you look nice today. I think it would make the world a better place if yes. everyone could just be so nice and talk to yes. one another. Absolutely. You know, when I was at Cambodia New Year at El Dorado Park, I yeah. just said hi to everyone. Yeah. And it was fun. You felt the connection. Because yeah. how would I connect with the people mm -hmm. if I'm not able to talk to them? Exactly. Yep. Yep. You are absolutely right. And you, you're doing really well. You're doing Thank really you so well. very yeah. much. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to um, uh, continue talking some more. Okay? Absolutely. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. We will be right back. But so welcome to our Welcome back. I think with the, with the subject of a bully, depressions, and stuff like that, we can be talking for... Uh, for many hours, for, yes. Yeah, for many hours, but we don't have a lot of time. No. And we have been talking about uh, bullying and um, depressions right. and how we can help, how, how the parents can help the kid uh, as a parent, even though single mother or single father has to make right. sure that observe your kid, you know, observe right. your kid. What is his behavior? Does he change his behavior every day? Does he come and eat at home or he doesn't have any food for him right. at home? So make sure that you as a parent look at look for signs. Look for signs yeah. of you know, starting these signs where they're not eating and you're mm -hmm. like, Why are they not eating? Why are they not hungry? You know, mm -hmm. stuff like that is so important because Bipolarism can be, you know, bipolar disorder is basically having a mani ma manic um, behavior where you're just split personality. One time mm -hmm. you're sad, the next thing you know, in a second you're happy. Yeah. So if you see that happening, they might need some kind of medication or intervention to help them cope with that, you know, disorder. Yeah. So now that we're talking over all of this, where can where can they find help? Is there any service somewhere that they can call phone number or anything like right. that? I know there's a LA County Mental Health. Right. Um, uh, people can also seek help. That this is for people right. who live in LA County, and their phone number is 800-854-7771. If they call that number, they can get mental help. But that I don't know if they they help uh, younger kid or not. But right. At least call and ask. They speak English. They speak right. Khmer. They speak a lot of the languages. That's fantastic. So where do you know? What are the services that you know? I mean, I only know one. Right. I mean, you know what? Uh, what ADHD, mm -hmm. autism, mm -hmm. depression. We do have one called Beacon Health. Beacon Healthcare. So with Beacon, we'll please we'll give you the number later, guys. Um, Beacon. Basically, you call them in. You tell them, hey. I have this disorder. Can you help me find the right service provider? Oh, so I these see. service prov coordinators will take your information mm -hmm. and they will search on their database to see mm -hmm. what kind of help they can get you I see. via your Medi-Cal or your health insurance. Mm -hmm. A lot of health insurance cover mental health. Yes. And there is a subcategory for mental health by itself, like they have dental, mm -hmm. you know, brain scans mm -hmm. or surgery. So they do have a subcategory for mental health. Mm -hmm. And within that spasm, you can get the help you need 
for free, and you know they will guide you through to finding the right solution to help you with your disorder. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. and Beacon Harbor Regional Center is a good one. Mm -hmm. They that those are for the younger ones. You know yeah. your kids need uh, services for school, OT, physical therapy. Mm -hmm. You know behavior therapists. They can help you get the service you need, yeah. so your kids can function at school with a one on one. Yeah. that can be there to help them mm -hmm. succeed and you know thrive in a school setting where you know also in the home setting we can provide therapy too where someone can come and sit down mm -hmm. and see and work on their behaviors yeah and i think a lot of the information they can also find on google right you know uh, you can just go to google and type uh, mental health help or mental health services and all of just call any one of the toll-free number and tell right. them what it is and then they might be able to direct to wherever it's supposed to be exactly right? yeah and especially if if you live in the LA County area you can call 854-800-854-7771 um, uh, that's for Los Angeles County Mental Hill that they can also help uh, right. I'm pretty sure they help kids and everybody too and they say they told me that they don't turn down anybody either you have money mm -hmm. or not right. they don't right. really turn down because they really want to help because um, also it's not just we come back to to our ethnic city to get I mean we are Cambodian and right. uh, I'm pretty sure that your parents went through uh, you're not probably because you're probably born here right yeah. <laughs> and I went through the hardship I went through the trauma I went right. through the the killing field right. and I, 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 I've been put in the grave one time right, already in right, my life and right. so I know how it feel how bad it is but I was able to manage and I'm an orphans too you know and yeah. I, I was able to manage to to pull myself out of all everything out of the hardship and everything uh, uh, to become what I am today right so um, but there's a lot some of the people might not be able to do that and if not if you still have any kind of like mental issue or anything then there's a phone number that they can call they can get help mm -hmm. and you know if you need help with uh, financially with food they have food stamp right social 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 services social services social security they they have food stamp they have health uh, insurance now. health insurance uh, medical medicare everything that there's a lot of help mm -hmm. the the most important part is that you have to willing to work and if you cannot work for some reason they can help they will help yeah. don't put too much stress onto your body and don't put too much stress onto your mind right and then that might pass on to your kid and then also help your kid if you see anything any sign they have a problem right. and what I what we want to do as service providers <coughs> is reach out into the Cambodian community mm -hmm. and to find ways to you know what we're doing now is we're outreach we're basically telling our community that hey this is the kind of help you can get out here mm -hmm. and we are here to help you we are yep. here to give you the information and bomb on katroka men like a katroka um you know like men uh jam ngư ai tro ka oi ke chuoi yang men like dai yang pra oi bomb on ban dai chuoi reung doi reung chi ka ba reung pra sai pra sat yeah khua ka ba bo yeung chi ka ba chi ka ba pra sai pra sat pra sai pra sat pra sat is is a come i have the sai pra sat but um the cyber sat is is uh, I think that cabal. Okay. <laughs> it's a way. It's a way. The sai is the way. It's the way. The way it's inside your head. Yeah. Cool cabal. And the cool cool cabal. Just move cool cabal. Yeah. The cyber sat is move cool cabal. Chun ka. Um. Sometimes chun ka. Come on, young. Come in. Come on, in. But. But that. Come on, in. Chun ka, young man. Come on, young. I I take it hard. Chun ka, take it hard. Come on, young man. I feel good. It, it, it seems like it's just one category. Oh, I need Sometimes you're not really right. Sometimes you just have a, your mental breakdown at a certain right. time, or sometimes you're too stressful. You can call and get help. Right. You know, because that's, that's where they're there for. Ask the question. That's the most important part. Ask the question right. and sh you shall get the answer. Right. And what the Cambodian community, what the Khmer families that I've worked with, a lot of it has to do with, you know, like you said, being shy and not and scared to seek the service they need because maybe um ត្រូវការឆ្នាំដៃត្រូវ 
trong tập cọc cháu bạch thằng cá bạch mày này trâu vô tập bê ở chat blood pressure you know chiêm chiêm dương lang chiêm dương chú tầng ăn năng bê sâm khăn mình tên nó còn chụp bọc luôn giờ Yeah, But it's it's a it's a combination of everything you want to make sure because sometimes when you stress too much, it could cause a uh, high blood pressure. Ah. Yeah, and high blood pressure could cause you to get stroke, could whole bunch of other stuff. You know, and um, exercise would help a lot. Very much so. Exercise can also help your mind. Yes. And you can there's also a a um, a program a computer program that can help you exercise your brain. Which is, I think, uh, that's one that the one that I I know is called Luminosity. Yes. You heard of Luminosity? I yeah. have heard of it. Luminosity apps where you can download it into your iPad, iPhone, or whatever, and you can go through that, and it it basically help your sh help sharpen your mind. Right. Help sharpen your brain so that brain way exercise. you don't get stuck. Yeah. It's like brain exercise. Yeah. So something like that could help with the stressfulness and you know a lot of the yeah. things. Yeah. And a lot even you know with that luminosity situation you work your brain and you make it exercise. Mm -hmm. But what's also important is the food you eat. Yeah. So if you're eating a lot of meat and you're not eating a lot of the vitamins from vegetable, mm -hmm. are you, is your body gonna function like carrot? Is mm -hmm. for your eyes. Mm -hmm. It helps clarify and it helps you see better. Yeah. And um, celery is for you know preventing cancer. Mm -hmm. So the the more vegetable you eat, the more healthier you'll become. Yeah. And yeah. I always make sure you drink two gallons of water a day. Yeah. Make sure you drink a lot two of water. Two gallons, that's too much. <laughs> Not too much, no, but drink it throughout the lot. day. <laughs> drink it throughout the day, yeah. and that will clean out I know. the system. No, that's what, that's what the doctor want to do, and that's a lot of the time. Uh, it's hard for everybody. It's hard, it's hard. It's very, very hard for but everybody. But try to, to, try yeah, to drink try. water. Drink as much as you can. Drink as much as because you can. Because when you drink a lot of water, it will help you uh, have. Um, it will help you go to the bathroom easier. Right. Yeah, the bowel because, movement. Yeah. Immune the bowel system movement, is strong. Yep. Everything. And and a lot of the time, that's where the problem with with a lot of the people. Mm -hmm. Too busy, don't have time to drink, and sometimes too busy, don't have time to eat. You know, right. forgot. And sitting too long, that could cause also right. cause problem. It's cause stressful. It's you know, very stressful. Into in in your bodies and your mind, everything. You know, because the stress is. It, basically, our body is working in related to each other. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're sitting down working on a computer too long and not getting up to go for a walk or whatever for three, four hours, you know that causes problem. I had I had a, my back problem, and that was a long time ago. I think around about 15 years or so ago. I was sitting from seven o'clock till one o'clock, not getting up because I was on the phone and was right. too busy on the phone. And once I get up, I hear my back click. And that's it. I'm stuck, and I, I wasn't really know too much then because I was I worked so hard. I, I was just w all about working, and sometimes I forgot to eat. Sometimes I forgot to drink, and that's a lot of the problem. Now I learned right. my mistake, so now I'm trying to do everything I can to correct right, the problem. Right. Even with diabetes, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of our community deals with diabetes, which is such a difficult you know this, yeah. um, problem for a lot of Asians because you know mm -hmm. rice. White rice is glucose. Yes. It turns into sugar, yeah. and it, you know that's why a lot of the community here we there's a lot of diabetes situation. Yeah. So we want to make sure we limit the rice we eat and the intake. Just eat more vegetables, yeah. and it will balance. And exercise, walk. Even if you take the time to walk for one mm -hmm. hour, yep. it will change the whole cycle. Yep. You know, if we have time to watch, everyone tells me. Oh, I don't have time. Yeah. If you have time to turn on the television and watch Thai movies, <laughs> yeah. you can go for a 30-minute walk. Yep, yep. Like, you will start with 5 or 10 yeah, minutes, you, you can know, start really and then low. keep going up, going up, and going up. You know, we are run, we, we are run out of time right now. Yes. And uh, before we go, I have to... Uh, I, I wrote a poem, which is I'm going to read it right now. And uh, the poem will be on TV also, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the poem right now uh, live on TV so that um, people that are watching right now can hear before we go up, okay? So here, how is, here does it go? And... Um, ទូរតាសិជនបើសិនជាមានការឆ្កំឆ្កងឬក៏ខុសត្រង់កលៃណាសូមេតាខាន់តៃអភ័យទោសបាទ uh, ខ្ញុំបានសរសេរកំណាប់មួយសម្រាប់ uh, anniversary 
nơi tam kia than trong mà chỗ rùm đá số bình chơi tu sạp mà không hay bạp thà kia bảo mà nẹ mau đầm bay dương miền chỉ bị sát cứ tham miền là nông bị cho cái miền này trở lại đây bạn à lâu nay khi mà đừng ăn cầm nắp đầm bay chun tu đẹp cho nó bàn trip không phải là lâu nay bạn ok thay môi u sấp hiếp chỉ thay cầm nắp khai tv bàn cá lơ về hà sọc sai và bật thoa nâng sát sanh à chun đòn bỏ chia bàn trở lại này chăn nắm này chỉ chăn nắm lược thì pram xôm cọt chấm nắm không phải vật sát thay khi ông thôi này phẳng phải nè prom tiếng cái mình chắc chui còn tro khi ông xôm ở quân đòn bu số phận chui khi miền sát sơn chui khi miền chụp chầu tu chư tu chia có không phẳng mờ đam bay bẩn tó cam vị thị bản ở quân doctor christina lee niên chan lori nâng rất thị hàn ở quân đòn súp chỉ nẹ khả hàn ở khuôn đó xúc chí nhạc là hàn hiên bỏ chùm hiên chô tơ được vòi ở khuôn tự đo công viên này chứ có đại bàn còm trố mình đại khoai khoa bàn phía yêu mình bán có mình nhạc đỏ mình đại lòng bố bì bạc chồng này ở khuôn kê vi chí nhạc cắt tỏ thuốc miên chụp chỗ tiền dục tiền thằng ngày bê khá ọt tất bê khá ọt bài mình đại lươi nái cách ca xa rào thằng ngôn ở quân tự đo nhẹ đào tuyệt sơn à, khả tị, khả chê, khả thá, khả chun bỏ khí nhom, khả mua bằng cách thả men sầm rùm, bà men squal khí nhom cầm chè tài thả, nấu miên tràn tiết tài khí nhom phơi ó, bà men lười chú, có xôm ở quân, rùm tang nhẹ chui cào mộ cào bì mồn, khí nhom xôm ở quân, ở quân đòi sầm, nấu xôm nhẹ tiết bằng phơi men bàn, cứ sờ cào giàn, thẹt rìa khí nhom xót, mà hô bà hà bài tắc thưa lo ăn cho. Chất xe mò xâm phô hồ lô cầm rò rộng bàn. Bên này khi ông xôm xe lạc bằng này hỏi, chăm đo thằng ngày kéo ý vô vinh mình khăn. Ở quân mà đoàn tiết, đo cục, ở quân mà đoàn tiết nhạc chú ý cục bàn. Ở quân mà đoàn tiết nhạc chú ý cục bàn. Ở quân mà đoàn tiết nhạc chú ý cục bàn. Ở quân mà đoàn tiết nhạc chú ý cục bàn. Ở quân mà đoàn tiết nhạc chú ý cục bàn. Ở quân mà đoàn tiết nhạc chú ý cục bàn. I haven't been to the high school, class high school or anything, but somehow something like this just come up to me and think about it and just I can just start writing it. It's a talent. It's yeah. a, it sounds like you could be a good songwriter, I, a poem writer. I don't know. You just, but you know, at least you know deep down, you have that talent. So yeah. if you continue to work on it and grow on it, you'll, be, you know, you'll be good. Yeah. I mean, if you believe in yourself, a lot of it has to do with believing in who you yes. are. Yes. If you believe in yourself, you can succeed the biggest dream you will yep. ever want to succeed, you know? Yeah, you know, everybody uh, mind is a very powerful mind. Very powerful. Uh, a lot of the people, sometimes they think that, oh, I cannot do this, oh, I cannot do that. But no, that's wrong. Right. Yes, you can. Yes, yes you, you can. can. Yes, you can. You know, yes, you can. Yes, you can. If they can do it, you can do it. You have right. to put yourself in that situation. Right. You have to put yourself in that position. What if they, let's for example, if they, if they are a doctor, okay, if they work 10 hours a day or they work uh, 10 hours a month, for example, and you are not a doctor, you work 50 hours a month. You kind of like just work more than them. That way you match to their capacity. It doesn't matter. You just have to willing, be willing to work and work hard. Work hard. And not be lazy. Be nice, yeah. be respectful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if someone's not being nice to you, you move on. Yep. You don't That's have right. to. You don't have to ponder yep. on the negativity. Mm -hmm. You move on with your life. Yep. There's a there's a lot more in front yeah. of you. I think we ran out of time now. Thank you very much, Sue, for coming Thank today. Thank you for having me yeah. so much. I really do appreciate I, I, it. I, I really, I really, I really, I'm proud of you for all you've done here. I think you're going to be a really, really successful Thank you young so much. Cambodian. I really appreciate um, it a lot. You are a teacher, you, are, uh, you study psychology, human development. Human development is about right. baby growing up and stuff like that, right? right. Child development, stuff yeah. like that. And you also a, a therapist. And you have two, how many? You have two jobs, three jobs? I have three jobs. I'm kind of balancing on, I cannot you know, believe but, you have three jobs and you have time coming to the studio and talk to me like yeah, this it's, also. It's about the love it's and the amazing. respect for our culture. I really do respect our culture. I love. Yeah. And if you put love in front, mm -hmm. everything will come and follow. Yeah. And the world will be a better place. Yep. You know, some people, they only work one job 
and they say, oh, I don't have time to do this, I don't have time to do that, and you have three jobs, and you have time to come to the studio and talk to me, I, you know, this is, this is great. The yeah. motivation to make the world a better place. Yes, this yeah. is, no, you're absolutely right, you are great, you are great. Thank you so much. And, um, and you are now and working so you on are. your album. I'm waiting and, on um, an album. I'm, I'm, I cannot wait to, to hear your album because you have a great voice. You, Thank you, you so I, much. I hear you sing uh, the national anthem and I heard that it hurt the whole world. Other people see because Khmer TV is not just locally here. Khmer TV is also online, which is KhmerTV.com. And that's where people in different states or different part of the country can hear your voice. Right. You know? Thank you so yeah. much for broadcasting my voice yeah. and supporting me. I want to thank Khmer TV so much. Thank you. <laughs> Not a problem. We work with each other yes. to help each other out. And you need, still need to sing one of my songs too. Remember? Absolutely. <laughs> we have to write. We're going to be yeah. working on a Khmer TV theme song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. We're going to have our own. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Okay, I think we ran out of time right now. Okun, some Okun, all two tech you know, all that time, and to Sana Khmer TV, thank you for the time. But some Jun Po, all two tech you know, all two protect us. Okay, so the cop, Mok Robot, Oxy, Mian Man. Hi, Bian Sok, Hip, all bar, group, group, Kromko, Sa. But we just jumped on Pina, some Okun, and some Jumri. Lip, 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 Lip,